Yeah, it's the hardest. Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, they gonna, they gonna come with desperation. Uh, they, I know they don't want to go home and soon. Uh, but, you know, we, we come, you know, aggressive, uh, play how we've been playing, you know, just defend, rebound, we got in transition. Uh, then we're gonna be great and close it out. How does breaking down the game quarter by quarter, like just trying to win quarters, benefit you guys? How does that help kind of the way that you approach it? Um, I mean, we, we want to try to get stops just at each, each quarter. You know, uh, the more stops we get uh, and the less scoring they do, uh, man, it's better for us. You know, we know where we where we good at on offense, uh, and, but our defense, you know, could be better. Uh, we could, uh, you know, do a lot of things better. But uh, it's been holding up. It's been solid so far. Uh, but we got to come in tonight with, a, with another mindset as far as, like, uh, play how we play game one. Can you take us back to where you and Anthony Edwards first met and how often you guys have kind of interacted? Uh, first time we ever met. Uh, I don't even remember that time. Uh, but, you know, we interact with each other, you know, on the court, off the court, you know, just, just talking to each other. You know, we, we work out sometime together uh, in the summer, uh, play a pickup, you know, stuff like that, uh, hanging out, like, in the city of Atlanta. Yeah, man, he's been a little, little, little brother to me, a little, little close friend, um, and it's just been good, you know, just just to pick his mind, you know, how he's feeling and stuff uh, with his uh, years in the league. Um, it's been good for him. Are there certain characteristics of basketball players from Georgia? <laughs> we got a little dog in us, man, for sure. <laughs> you know, that's about the only thing I can say. Uh, man, we, we tough. You know, we, you know, we play with a lot of heart and got a lot of passion. There's a lot of guys on the team yeah. alone have said you've been extremely vocal since the postseason started. Can you shed a little light on what you've been uh, imploring your guys to do? Um, I mean, just be mindful and just, and just stay focused. You know, these, these are the uh, most important games uh, for our goal that we're trying to reach, and that's uh, just to win the championship. Um, and just, just come out, you know, just be focused each and every day, shoot around, practice, whatever it is. You know, uh, just be a professional. You know, ready for uh, each each round. Does your voice get louder in the postseason? Uh it has gotten a little louder. You know, I've been a little bit more talkative uh, to everybody, you know, uh, one on one, if it's one on one, uh, to the groups or small groups. Uh, just trying to reiterate it, it's like, you know, we, we got a goal to set. Uh, we, we set a goal to get a championship uh, and we gotta wanna keep that mindset and that mentality. When you're going through a postseason, you're going through a few you know, watching other series and you scouting them or are you just watching them? I mean, not really scouting, but you know, I'm watching the games. Uh, I know uh, our next series will be either between the Clippers and the uh, Suns. Uh, so just just watching them, uh, just seeing what they do, you know, uh, and just being ready for that um, opportunity. What, what do you think of that series? Um, it's a great series. Uh, I, I, I was thinking it was going to go Game Six, but who knows? Uh, it's looking pretty pretty bad right now for the Clippers. Uh, one, one more on Anthony Edwards. When, when you're guarding him during the game, does any of the dog talk come out, or are you pretty quiet with him, or do, uh, is there chatter during I'm, the game? I'm pretty quiet with everybody I go. I, I, I want to say I'm not really a, a big trash talker unless you know you, you talk a trash with me. Uh, but it, it's mainly me. And him. We it, just joking. I'm, I'm probably cracking jokes on like, yeah, I fouled you on that play or <laughs> such and such, you know. Uh, but it's no trash talk. Did you, you didn't say anything on that block. <laughs> he said I fouled him, but I don't think I fouled him. Oh, okay. That, that block yeah, right that there, one. no. I didn't say anything. I, it was not when I watched the replay, I was like, man, I didn't know he was, he was jumping that high. <laughs> like, I, you just tip your hat? I, I just tipped my hat to that one. He got up and got it. Um, and me, I should just went on and try to Did finish home. Yeah, but me trying to be all uh, nonchalant, lay it up, and knowing, he can, knowing he can jump out the gym. Describe what Aaron Gordon's brought for you guys. Um, just you know that that the deepest mentality that we've been looking for, as far as like uh, many of our guys uh, that's out there, uh, him, Jeff, man, they they've been so tough on Cat. Uh, it's it's disrupted his whole game, his whole series, uh, and we want them to continue to do that. Uh, the more we take him out of the game and make everybody uh, force everybody else to score and make plays, the better we are. Would you say that that's a pretty good example of guys being selfless and just doing their roles to the best of their ability for this group? He came, uh, AG, which is crazy, he came up to me and talked to me about that. He was like, it might not be my night, his night, or anybody else, uh, like anybody got a uh, guy's night, Maul's night.
tonight or Joker tonight. You know, the uh, only thing we gotta do is just come in and play our game, play defense. You know, and continue to just, you know, emphasize just just playing for each other. Um, like like you said, like my night might not be tonight, but I gotta be able to play defense. You know, and, and help my team out anyway. What kinds of adjustments do you anticipate them making tonight? Um, I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, just being more aggressive, you know, uh, trying to attack the basket a little bit more, uh, trying to get up as many threes as they can, I think. Uh, but we'll see. Well, I don't know the adjustments. You guys are up 3-0. Phoenix is up 3-1. Um, how do you personally stay so that you're focusing on one game, one quarter at a time? Um, I mean, for us, you know, our game is tonight. Uh, we got to just be focused on uh, what we can do here. Uh, and then just close the game out. And then that's for us is just rebound, defend, and you know, get out in transition, what we best at, uh, and, and being able to take care of the ball. Does, uh, does CB have a little dog in him? <laughs> yeah, that's my guy, man. CB, he always got a little dog, but he messed me up on one defense play, man. We both got in trouble. Okay. <laughs> that's on him. No, that's, that's, on, that's, that's on him, though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Not me. Thank you. <laughs>